ladies and gentlemen, what's going on? Welcome back to another episode of Pokemon Alpha Sapphire. Hello, I thought how you could fly by- wait, what? I thought how you fly is by catching a whole flock of bird Pokemon, then hanging on to them somehow, but it turns out there's a HM move called fly. I know, in a way my dream came true, but I also feel like I lost my dream. It feels really strange. Oh, it's thundering. So we're gonna go head into this big grass patch here, and uh, see if we can fight any more trainers. There's a lot of trainers to- wait, are you not gonna fight me? You are gonna fight me. There's a lot of trainers in here which we want to fight because we have a lot of XP to gain. Um, I've been trying to focus more on speeding through the game rather than uh, than trying to evolve and catching Pokemon and stuff. Uh, but the problem is... Oh, Intimidate is going to cut our attack there. The problem is we're going to need to uh, to do it anyway for our team. So I figured we may as well try and the Lucky Eggs are definitely going to uh, help us a lot anyway. I forgot the rain is really going to... Uh, hinder our fire type attacks here, so we might as well just switch out to Rex, especially now that Zinger is paralyzed. Uh, let's switch on over. Uh, I've got a feeling that um, uh, Rainbow... Is it Rainbow? I forget. What What's our Goldeen called? I think it's called Rainbow. It's going to evolve in a level, which is going to be great. Um, Zinger is also going to evolve in a level as well, and actually we have um, our Nummel is also going to evolve very soon. Ah, there we go, we've paralyzed the Masquerain. Very good. Well, still use scary face, but whatever. It's just a scary face. Just chill out, Rex, okay? You can survive. I believe in you. Okay, let's go for it. And that should be that. Masquerain isn't really going to give us too much XP, but it's okay. And something which I didn't think about before was the, the fact that there's wild Pokemon which you find later on in the game. Oh, there's Royale leveling up. Great. Oh, Rainbow is the Aaron. Never mind, I'm stupid. And then a Ninjask, which is bug. Ugh. Okay, so I'm just going to have to hit it with a standard old spark here. Uh, yeah, something I didn't consider about, like Leon, uh, Linoon, is that Pokemon like Gloom, you can catch them later on in the game, such as uh, in areas like Route 119 here, that I really didn't consider just catching one Oddish and three Gloom instead of catching four Oddishes and then evolving the Glooms when I can. You know, it was a bit stupid on my part, but whoa, that actually really hurt. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I tell you what though, if um, if Royale does evolve here, then I'm going to go and switch her out for a different Pokemon. Okay. Uh, because it's definitely worth doing. But Zinger has also leveled up and wants to learn Focus Energy. I'm not going to teach her Focus Energy uh, because... Oh, and Rainbow also grew to level 18. We may have quite a few evolutions here, I'm not sure. But that uh, Ninjask there has definitely caused at least one. And here we go, our first ever Pokemon, Lil Zinger Torchic, evolved into a Combusken at level 36, evolves once again. And oh boy, have I got a bio and a half for you. Actually, I've got a lot of bios for you. So, at level 36, Combusken evolves into Blaziken. Now, I love Blaziken. Well, actually, I kind of love all of the Hoenn starters, so that's a little unfair to say, but Blaziken is pretty badass. It works really well as a mixed attacker, but it's kind of let down by its move pool and it's typing. It has the most weaknesses out of the Hoenn starter trio. Uh, that being said, it can hit like a truck, and its typing means it can hit a lot of Pokemon with super effective stab moves. And right off the bat here, we get to learn Blaze Kick, which isn't the most accurate fire type move, but we definitely want to teach it instead of uh, Flame Charge, just because of its uh, higher uh, attack power. Okay, so of course, I've also got to go through the other starter evolution since we are here. And Royale isn't evolving. Very surprising. Uh, so Swampert, uh, sorry, I should say, Marshstomp evolves into Swampert, the tank of the Hoenn starters. Ridiculously good typing. I actually hold somewhat of a grudge against Swampert, uh, since it has the same typing as my favorite Pokemon, Quagsire. So kind of takes the spotlight from it, because Swampert is the better Pokemon uh, when it comes to ground and grass types. Uh, regardless, though, it's really good Pokemon. Uh, it's only weak to grass, immune to electric, and has great moves like Surf and Earthquake, which will dominate double battles. And Swampit does a great job of being a mixed attacker too. Not quite as well as Blaziken, but the potential is still there. Um, and then of course, uh, good little Grovile, the grass type starter, evolves into Sceptile. Now if I had to pick my favorite Hoenn starter, it would be Sceptile. I mean, it doesn't, uh, it doesn't get a second type like the others, it is, however, the fastest non-legendary grass type in Pokemon history. Sceptile is really cool. It has great move access. 
However, because of the physical special split that came in Generation 4, a lot of its good moves became physical moves, which means it essentially got nerfed since it has a bit of a higher special attack than physical. It just means that to get some of its more reliable moves, you have to breed them or use TMs. So there you go, the uh, fully evolved starter Pokemon for Hoenn. Yeah, how about that? So I'm going to quickly switch out um, Blaziken here, our Zinger. We're not going to get to use him for Nummel. Where is Nummel? There he is. Our Stampy. We're going to bring him into the fight. Okay, and I will go back to Route 119 and carry on doing some uh, battles. Okay, so here we are again, back in Route 119. We actually found a Max Repel, and yeah, I do have a Super Repel on, just because I kind of want to go through... Oh, a hidden item. I want to kind of go through the area and uh, just get as many trainer battles out of the way as I can because of the whole Lucky Egg thing. And I didn't switch the Lucky Egg. Dang it. I didn't switch the Lucky Egg from... Um, Zinger onto Nummel. I'm stupid. But regardless, it doesn't matter. Uh, we do actually have one new wild Pokemon available to us in the grass here, um, and that is Tropius. Really unique grass flying type Pokemon. Four times weak to ice though, which is tough to get around later on in the game. It's actually a pretty usable Pokemon, and again, when I was going to do a grass monotype run of the game, I was going to use it. Tropius does have a few good uses though, it's quite tanky after all, but only if you can get around its low speed and many weaknesses. And that's the only new Pokemon we have available to us in the grass in this route. There are other Pokemon which we can get. Uh, boss wants to learn Brawl, we will give up on that. But look at how quickly we've been getting our Pokemon leveled up since uh, putting on the Lucky Eggs, it's great. It's only 50% extra, but it's still great. Okay, now where is this hidden item? Is it up there? No, down here? Like, when I was pointing this way, it was shining. So was it actually over here? I will find it. Ah, I'm getting closer. Um, I've lost it. Where is it? Is it over here, then? No, I will find it. I'll be back with you guys. Wait, hang on. What was that? It's a new Pokemon. It's over here. I've got a feeling it's Tropius. Oh, it's Kecleon, actually. Oh, wow. I didn't expect that. Um, let's catch a Kecleon. Hello. I wasn't quite expecting Kecleon to take out... Oh, critical capture as well. I wasn't expecting it quite to take out uh, my Sparky, or my Rex. Why did I call it Sparky? But there we go, Kecleon. I wasn't expecting to do that, but I did. And um, I have no idea what I'm going to call this guy. I mean, he's a, ke he's a chameleon. Um, I mean, they come and go. So maybe maybe something along the lines of that wants to learn raw, but that's fine. We'll ignore that. So yeah, there, there we have a Kecleon, and I'm going to call it Cackles, I guess. Kecleon's data was added. This is taking too long. Come on, speed it up. We've got to get through this route. Color swap Pokemon. Registration complete. Fantastic. Uh-huh. I'm going to call him Cackles. Or is it her? I don't even know. Cackles. There we go. Okay, I'm going to quickly heal up and see if I can find that hidden item. But yeah, there we go, Kecleon. Very surprised that we got that this match, uh, this this uh, episode even. Found it. It's right here. It's a full heal. Don't know if that was really worth it, but oh well. Um, let's see. If, I think there's still a few more trainers like this guy. I already fought you. No. Until you go away somewhere, we keep on making every move you make. Well, that's weird. I think the only trainer we have left to fight... What about you? Yes, we found you. You will fight you. But yeah, we got a Kecleon this episode. Didn't expect that. I was honestly hoping for a Tropius rather than a Kecleon, since we're going to come across a Kecleon anyway, but eh, doesn't matter. All right, Rex should be able to make... Ooh, maybe not quick work of this Dustox, since it's not a flying type. But let's uh, let's use Volt Switch then instead and switch out to a Nummel. Because, yeah, electric types aren't going to do that much, but then at the same time, fire types aren't either because of the rain. Whoops, I want to do that. Stampy, out you come. So Volt Switch is a really great move. I love using it for doing damage and switching out. It's good if you've got a fast Pokemon that you know is probably going to attack first. Okay, and let's use Lava Plume. Venoshock, wow. Poison type against the ground type. That's a bit weird. Not very effective, of course. I'm going to use Lava Plume, which is going to be super effective, but probably won't do enough damage because of the rain, unfortunately. I'm really hoping that we can get... um. Nummel to evolve this episode. It would be great if we have all these evolutions in one ep episode. Really making progress on our Hoenn decks. Really? Still not taking it out? 
Uh, I guess I could just go for an Earth Power just to save PP. Okay, one more Venoshock. Again, pretty decent move, but it's not going to do enough damage because we're parked ground. Okay, there's the Earth Power to take out the Dust Ox. Sweet! And I did see a, like, Camper-style Pokemon. Oh, Rex Cruise level 29. Really getting up there now, thanks to the, um, Lucky Eggs. I surrender. I really wish as well that we didn't have to hatch this stupid egg. Because I would love to actually, um... Oh, look at you. For someone on an adventure, you're traveling awfully light. Yeah, I would love to uh, actually, like, evolve Pokemon rather than hatch this egg. But it doesn't matter. Once I've hatched this egg... Ooh, Breloom. Hello. I've got a Breloom too. Yeah, once I have hatched this egg, then it means that I can hatch all the other eggs which I've transferred over. Um, but yeah, that's, that's something to look forward to. Okay, Breloom with a Mark Punch there. Priority... Wow. Priority fighting type move. Really good for taking out um, dark types like Tyranitar and uh, Weavile that are weak to fighting type moves because Mark Punch is not the strongest move but it's priority and like I said it can do four times damage to some Pokemon. Again, looks like I'm going to have to rely on um, Lava Plume to try and take out Breloom which is a bit of a shame considering it's raining but we did burn it which is great. Counter failed. Counter is a very unique move. Um, it takes the damage done by an opponent but only physical damage and then doubles it and sends it back. Um, you can have another move called Mirror Coat, which does the same, but for uh, special moves, but however, Breloom cannot learn Mirror Coat, it can only learn Counter. We are actually going to encounter, haha, <laughs> a Pokemon capable of doing both those moves later on in the game. Stampy, come on, I believe. Hopefully this will take, well, it will take it out because it's burned. Okay, and there we go, that's the other trainer taken out in this route. Big chunk of XP there, which was very nice. Rainbow Groot's level 20 as well. Boss Groot's level 20. I've got a feeling they evolve at level 20, actually. And Royale might evolve at level 32, but yeah, there we go. Oh, I was wrong. They don't evolve at level 20. My bad. Anyway, I am going to heal up really quickly. No, I'm not. No, I'm not, because I just heard the cry of a Pokemon. Where is it? Please don't go. It sounds like it's over to the right. Seems to be a Pokemon nearby, but I'm not getting the thing changing. The icon on the Dex Nav. There it is. Over there, I'm gonna get you. You are gonna be mine. Yes, there it is. It is Tropius. Can I, can I run into you, please? It's really difficult in the long grass to find where the Pokemon are in this route, but anyway. Here we have Tropius, the grass flying type Pokemon which is four times weak to ice. I'm going to try and catch this guy, so uh, I will be right back. Okay, and I'm pretty comfortable with the fact that this is going to get caught. It was pretty low health, it also got paralyzed by Spark, and there we have it. Uh, we caught another Tropius. I say another Tropius, but we caught a tra uh, Tropius, which is pretty good. Two new Pokemon in one episode, and an evolution as well. Stampy Crew is level 33, which is great, and Tropius' data was entered into the Pokedex. Sweet! Okay. Blanaba. That's what I'm going to call it. Uh, Children of the Southern Tropics eat as, eat as snacks the fruit that grows in bunches around the neck of Tropius. This Pokemon flies by flapping the leaves on its back as if they were wings. Yeah, a really cool Pokemon that can actually fly, which is pretty neat. Uh, the Blanaba. Blanaba. There we go. That's a reference to anyone that probably knows it. So, of course it's a reference to someone that knows it. Just don't be stupid, Dale. Okay, so now I'm... Oh! Oh! And Stampy is evolving! I didn't th think this was coming. This is another evolution. I'm so happy with this. So, what was it? Level 33? Nummel evolves. And, oh boy, do I like this Pokemon. At level 33, Nummel evolves into Camerupt. The reason why I took so long to find a number with the ability simple before was this, so that my Camerupt would have the ability Solid Rock. Considering Camerupt only has two weaknesses, redu uh, reducing super effective moves by 25% may not seem like a big deal, but in the off chance that you're, you're up, uh, you accidentally get up against a water type Pokemon, this can really save your butt. It isn't the most usable Pokemon being really slow and not having a great move pool, but I've always loved the design of Camera and I couldn't wait to use it. Given the chance, it can actually hit pretty hard, and upon leveling up there to evolve, it does want to learn um, Rock Slide, but I won't let it. So, there we go. I'm pretty sure this is a good place to call it quits for today. 
We've had a lot of eventful stuff happening. There's a place over there where you can use the acro bike, but we're not going to do that just yet. Um, and some berries down there too, actually, which I might go for. But yeah, that is going to do it for today. Can your Pokemon use the move Secret Power to make a secret base out of a big pile of grass? Probably. I will see you all in the next one, where we will continue on Route 119. And I know I said I was going to catch a new Pokemon today, but I actually can't get it for a little bit longer, so you're going to have to wait for that, uh, for the team, that is. Uh, so yeah, hope you all enjoyed, and I, of course, will see you all in the next episode. Bye-bye.